Okay. <clears throat> hey guys, what's up? Today is Monday, October 14th, and it is my last day of my week vacation. I want to say, like, yeah, that, that flew by, but, I'll, you know, a lot happened over the vacation, but also, like, not really. There was a lot of downtime. Um, at least I always look at the downtime. Spit a little. I look at the downtime, and I exacerbate it a little bit, and then I look at the actual time I spent doing stuff, and I uh, discredit it. Real quick. I'm gonna put down that curtain because I'm recording quiet during the day, so that'll at least block some noise. Um, but yeah, so like, you know, I did enough. Uh, I did a couple new things. I, uh, we went on a ghost hunt twice. And I plan on going again this next week, uh, next Monday, I believe. As long as the weather's fine, as long as it's not raining. I'm gonna go by myself. I'm not gonna, you know, try to make anybody go with me. If they don't want to, if Nid wants to go, they can. If Dylan wants to go, he can. But I'm not gonna, if no one decides to go, I'm just gonna go myself. But, um, yeah, we did a ghost hunt at a cemetery and actually caught some evidence. No... Nothing visual that I saw, but um, definitely got, you know, with the Spirit app on my phone, got some pretty, pretty, um, uh, lacking coincidence. What's, what's a word for lacking coincidence or for not a coincidence? I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, got some, got some phrases and words that were like, okay, yeah, that actually makes sense. That's not random. Um, I caught some stuff on EVP and, uh, those videos are up on my archive of the unexplainable YouTube channel should be on this channel if you go to my main channel down to the um, other subscriptions or my other channels section you'll find it but yeah I'm gonna go again with a better camera with my better GoPro for better um, ISO and um, just be a little just now that I have that experience I'll be like okay I know what to do better now so I am going to be looking more into actual buildings to investigate, but it's very hard because a lot of the buildings here are privately owned and historical, and they're owned by people who just let them sit there and rot and don't really do shit about it, but they won't, they're too prideful in it to let anybody go in it, even though it's, I don't know, whatever, it's annoying, but gotta respect it, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be casually looking for places to go, uh, but yeah, so today we're going to the mall for early, for Nin's early birthday. Their birthday is this week, but uh, we're gonna go on month. We're gonna go today because it's the only day we really can go because of work. So otherwise, um, I did pick up some extra hours and extra shifts while I was out for PTO, and um, went to the dentist yesterday. Got a cavity here filled, which was not nearly as bad as this one. I got a cavity right here, drilled out and refilled. This cavity I got put in, I think in 2017, in Michigan, and they removed a lot of the tooth and filled it. Um, I think they removed more than they should have, but they removed a lot for this cavity and filled it, and then so for this one, they actually had to drill all that out, you know, years later, and then refill it with a different type of, I don't know what they used to fill, it's not like the, the gray metallic looking filling it's like more of a tooth colored it's a different thing now so which is cool because it doesn't look as shit when you look in somebody's mouth if they go like ah you can't you can't entirely see like that big metal glob and i know i still have a couple ones i, I had cavities growing up not so bad now um like i said for this for this my last visit it was just re redrill and fill this one and then fill a small one right here and we did this one yesterday and my tooth already doesn't hurt although my face was numb from like here all the way up to my eye and like right here like all of this like imagine what um kano and mortal kombat's face was like that metal piece that's where my face was numb and it was like that for a long time they they injected me like three times with novocaine or whatever and that that shit i was numb um but and then last night, if you were at the stream last night, I uh, did get a bit of a headache. But right now, I feel fine. Um, and the tooth doesn't hurt. I was able to chew on it yesterday and today with no problems. Not very sensitive to cold yet. We'll see. Um, yeah. And also, I want to show you guys this. Here's a little 
little spoiler my next book is out in four days it's out on was it friday yeah i think friday it's coming out the 18th and i got my test copy my proof copy and that came in the mail just so i can look at it so i can see where ch if the chapter is printed properly if the cover looks good i will say i do i do love the cover i think the back is a little too dark where it almost looks black um but I think that it's also cool because it kind of shows the dichotomy of the light and dark. Uh, it's a nice contrast. But anyway, so that's coming out the 18th. I'm excited for that, which means, well, you know what that means. Time to get ready to start writing again the next book. Um, and that's going to be a huge endeavor. I do want to get a jump start on it. I don't want to wait till January to start writing it. I'm not going to, I don't think. But it is going to be a lot. Although... I was debating on waiting till January and using October to the end of the year to finish the transgression audiobook because I do need to get back into doing those. But man, book one took a lot out of me. That was a lot of work. That was like six months of work. Um, and the other books shouldn't take as long as they do because they're, they're each hundreds of pages shorter than book one, but still. Um, and I've already gotten like I think I have up to chapter 7 recorded for transgression. I have to edit 6 and 7. So maybe I'll just get started by editing those and getting those up. And then go to actually record more. But it shouldn't take me that long. I just need to put my nose to the grindstone and do it. Um, also when it comes to medical stuff. Uh, I had blood work done. Tested negative for Lyme disease. Which is cool because I did get bitten by a deer tick in summer. Basically my medical escapades were... COVID at the beginning of the year, followed up in a couple of weeks by the flu, which I haven't had in years, and then followed up in a couple of months by getting bitten by a deer tick and having his head stuck in my shoulder, which, yeah, didn't get Lyme, so, which is, yeah, that's great. Um, still no answers, but I'm glad it's not Lyme. I do need to sign in to my patient portal so I can actually see my blood test results and see what that is. And also, I'm still waiting on the heart monitor stuff. I assume I'll just be waiting for a phone call from from the um, cardiologist. But if I don't get a phone call throughout this week, I'm definitely going to call them and ask for results. But I know it takes a little bit to skim through the data, send it over, evaluate it, whatever. So I'm not going to rush it because um, I think I sent that out. On, I sent it out on October 4th, I believe. It was done the October 3rd. I sent it out the 4th. <sighs> Yeah, so, as far as what's coming next, not quite sure. I have random stuff that I'm editing and working on, but nothing crazy, nothing big. Vocal Cover Channel is doing very well currently. Um, I do need to record more. I went through my entire backlog that I had um, pre-recorded, edited, and pre-rendered. Those all went up at a staggered pace, and... Uh, I think, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm on track to pay off my credit card before the end of the year. I should be. Um, and then after that, I'll just have, like, my cell phone to pay off, which I'm paying that off, like, 30 bucks a month, and I'll pay more as I get more. Like, for my birthday and Christmas, I'm just going to be like, hey, instead of getting me any gift... Just give me a little bit of cash that I can put towards this stuff to pay off this stuff. That's all I care about. I don't want anything else. I just want to pay shit down. Because the more I have paid down, the more I'm able to actually just spend on the things I want. Instead of feeling guilty if I buy something. Um, also, we have Spec over here. He is right, right there. You can see his little black dot right there. Right, right here. That's him. Hi, buddy. He's hanging out. He's getting warm under the lamp. He's still in there until for a couple weeks, till he gets larger, and then he'll go to his enclosure. But yeah, so that's gonna do it. I think. Thank you for watching, and uh, keep you guys posted on everything.